Amy Park's a purpose-built rectangular stadium. So we get to host a range of events here from football and rugby league to rugby union matches. We've got concerts from Elton John, Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran, as well as family events. Monster Jam uh, in particular is a yearly event that we get to host. So a whole range of different exciting events that we're so lucky to bring to the people here in Victoria. We've got a dedicated team that look after our pitch. So Justin, who is our head groundsman, makes sure that that pitch gets every single piece of inspection that can be done is done in the weeks leading up. So we really want to make sure that come event day, we deliver a pitch that's almost like carpet. Then the team uh, also makes sure that as soon as everyone comes into the stadium, we're, we're safe and secure, but also get to really watch a great game. Playing Amy Park is unreal. It's a beautiful stadium. It's like carpet, the ground. The infrastructure, it's amazing. You just really feel like professional every time you step out here. Having a home where people really are astounded by when they walk into it as an opposition team and they're jealous. Every time we come out onto this park, it's immaculate. It always looks great, it always feels great. My most memorable moment at Amy Park was against Brisbane Roar when I scored my first professional goal. Johnson takes that opportunity. I've been the venue manager here for the last two W League Grand Finals and we were certainly lucky enough to see Melbourne City recently win, which was an exciting year for us and seeing the girls run out there at Amy Park, there's no other stadium like it. And having that Grand Final was just a, a great way to end the season, uh, not just for the players but for us as well. I have been involved in countless Grand Finals at Amy Park and I think it had a lot of people on the ground that I have long life relationships with. There's something about Amy Park that brings us all together and makes us feel like a family. I first started playing football when I was five. I don't have a memory actually in my childhood without soccer. I started playing soccer when I was about 10 or 11, just at a local boys club in Victoria. I love the game. I started playing soccer when I was seven years old in a local club in Oslo. When I'm playing, it's just all about football. I just forget everything else. The biggest challenge for me as a female athlete is perception. When I was uh, seven years old, I was the only girl in an all boys team. But then I got banned because I was a girl. So I wasn't able to play again until I was 14 because I've been through a lot of things, so I'm trying to mentor as much as I can. If somebody is asking a lot of questions and wanting to put a lot of time, I'm happy to give that time back and making sure that they grow as a human, as a footballer. And basically, I want to remind them at every step of the way that I'll be there beside them. Whether we win or lose, it's just about making sure that they're giving 100%. And I just get the opportunity to learn from people who are really, really different than I am. It's interesting to learn about how people process life. It's always a positive. We're lucky in that we get to deliver events, not just for the different men's competitions, but we're really excited to introduce things like the W League as a more regular fixture here at Amy Park. And the standards are already set so high and we get to continue to deliver and make sure we keep pushing boundaries. We've got the FIFA Women's World Cup coming here to the stadium in 2023. The legacy item set is going to be left by the FIFA Women's World Cup, not just for uh, women in sport but for all our hires is something that we're really excited to be able to showcase uh, not just to Australians but the rest of the world. The message I want to send out to young girls out there that want to play sport is don't let success go to your head or failure go to your heart. You meet so many amazing people along the way and you really learn lessons that help you carry through life that are applicable off the field. Put yourself out there, take action and have fun. <laughs>